Our first drill is some form shooting, sitting down in a chair. Um, with this, we want to make sure we focus on the proper technique. So our arm should be great arm placement. Make sure we have, take our pointer finger, point it right to the tip of our eyebrow, have a nice flat hand. We should have a good, nice 90 degree angle on my elbow, just like that. We want to keep the elbow tucked in, not out. We'll place the basketball here. Again, one of the main focuses is having a little bit of space in between the palm and the basketball. We want to make sure this is how we start our shot. Every time we shoot, we want our elbow to replace our wrist. So we're going to shoot nice and high. And when our, where our wrist is, our elbow should replace it. We can have the basketball land right in front of us. Or if we want, we can catch the basketball every time. Again, focusing on the snap of that wrist. Okay, if we're catching the basketball, we want to make sure it doesn't land too far in front of us or go too far behind us. It should be landing in the same spot every time. Take your time, get yourself nice and situated, continue to shoot shots just like that. With the form shots, you can add your guide hand as well. Um, after you're shooting a couple one-handed form shots, you can add that guide hand. The main focus with this is making sure that you don't flick that thumb, you don't get too much hand engagement, and you're shooting right through that guide hand. So that guide hand should stay nice and flat. As you shoot, it should shoot right through it, stay nice and flat. Last one with form shooting is that we're gonna add a dribble. So you can stay seated, you're gonna take a couple dribbles right into the shooting pocket, shoot some form shots. You can dribble with both hands, Dribble right into the shooting pocket. Again, shooting form shots right out of it. So you're going to take a couple dribbles each side, get the ball to the shooting pocket, finish. Next thing we're working on is our footwork. As we catch and shoot, we want to make sure we pivot on the inside foot. So what we'll do is spin the ball to ourselves on the other side of the chair. Come catch it. We're going to pivot on that inside foot, the foot closest to the chair, get nice and squared up right into a form jump shot. So you're going to continue to do that on the right, on the left side. You're going to step with your right foot, catch, get squared up right into a shot. So a little bit faster. Come here, catch and shoot. This side, catch and shoot. Again, imitating the pin down screen or a down screen. Always trying to catch one, two on the inside foot every single time. Switching feet each side. At this point, we'll move the chair. We can remove the chair. Now we're going to work on jab series. With this, we want to make sure we start nice athletic position, really working on the footwork, muscle memory of a jab step. When we do a proper jab step, we don't want to jab sideways. We want to jab at the defender a little bit, try to create some separation between myself and the defender, get right back into our shot nice and quick. So we're going to jab with our right foot, jab right into that shot, get the ball in the shooting pocket, then do the same thing, jab with the left foot. Again, jabbing at the defender, getting right back to the shooting pocket. You can spin the ball to yourself, get yourself squared up. Triple threat, jab, shoot, okay? Triple threat, jab, just like that. Jab series is a jab cross. When we say jab cross, it does not mean jab and cross over the basketball. We're going to first start triple threat. I'm going to jab with my right foot and I'm going to cross my right foot over my body, dribble with the left foot into a shot. Okay? We're going to do the same thing with the right foot or with the left foot that we did with the right. So again, catch triple threat. I'm going to jab with my left foot, cross my left foot over my body, one right hand dribble right to the shot. Next, we have some circuit style ball handling. Each drill we do will be 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. The first drill we're doing is right hand. We're gonna dribble pound up to our shoulder, small dribbles, cross, cross. Pound, small dribbles, cross, cross. Pound, small dribbles, cross, cross. After 30 seconds of that, we'll switch hands. Again, left hand, pound, small dribbles, cross, cross. Pound, small dribbles, cross, cross. Next ball handling drill is going to be the same thing, but we're going to add a V dribble instead of the crossover. So 
Start the ball in our right hand. Pound, two dribbles, V dribble. Pound, two dribbles, V dribble. After 30 seconds of that, switch hands. Pound, two dribbles, V dribble. Pound, one, two, V dribble. Next run we're doing is a push-pull dribble on the side of us. We'll have our feet even. We want to focus on getting the basketball all the way behind us and all the way in front of us. Push-pull the, the entire time with the right hand, really trying to pound that basketball. After 30 seconds of that, we'll switch hands, do push-pull dribble with the left hand. Again, trying to get the basketball all the way behind us and way in front of us. Next drill, we're gonna need a cone. Put the cone on the floor right in front of us. We're gonna pound the basketball on each side of the cone. We're gonna start with just our right hand. We're gonna go on the right side, left side, right side, left side, continuing to switch sides of the cone. Make sure we try to handle the basketball. Don't let the basketball get too high. We don't want it to bounce towards our forehead. Keep it nice and low, handling the basketball. After about 30 seconds of that, we'll switch hands, we'll go left-handed. Again, trying to handle the basketball, get on each side of the cone. Okay, the next row we do, we won't need a basketball at all, some movement efficiency stuff. First, we're gonna have our feet together nice and even. We're gonna go side to side for 20 seconds. So we're gonna go as quick as we can, stand on our toes, going side to side hops, trying to go as quick as we can for 20 seconds. Next drill is the same thing. We're gonna go both feet. Instead of side to side, we're gonna go front to back now, going as quick as we can, staying on our toes, front to back, trying to hop over a line every time. Now we're gonna do the same drill. We're gonna go one foot at a time. So first we'll go right foot. We'll go right foot side to side. Again, jumping over the line, trying to go as quick as we can. After 20 seconds of that, we'll go left foot side to side, going as quick as we can. After 20 seconds of that, we'll switch and go front to back one foot. First our right foot, front to back, just like this. After 20 seconds of that, left foot front to back for 20 seconds. And to end our workout, we're gonna grab our cone again. Now we're gonna do small dribbles around the cone with each hand. Doesn't matter what direction you start in, you're gonna go for 10 seconds each direction. So I'm gonna start going all the way around the cone, nice small dribbles. After 10 seconds, I'll switch directions that I go with the small dribbles. After 20 seconds total, we'll switch hands. Now you're gonna do small dribbles with just the left hand all the way around the cone for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds of that, change directions that you do with the left hand, and you finish up the workout.